hello dear friends welcome back to my youtube channel chemistry aspirant now in today's lecture we are going to learn about the formation of water molecule by the sp3 hybridization process now here we are going to involve the same steps that we have used in the previous two videos the first step as an ground state electronic configuration second step as an excited state electronic configuration the third step is the hybridization process and the fourth step is the bond formation and the last step is the geometry and the bond angle which we observed in the water molecule. So now let us start with the formation of water molecule by hybridization process. We know that water molecule is formed by the one oxygen atom and the two hydrogen atom in which the oxygen atom is the central atom which undergoes the hybridization process. Now, let us consider the ground state electronic configuration of the oxygen atom. Oxygen atom atomic number 8. So, its ground state electronic configuration will be 1s2, 2s2, 2px2, 2py1 and 2pz1. So, to understand this ground state electronic configuration, I have shown this ground state electronic configuration in the square box form where you will observe that in 2p y1 and 2p z1 atomic orbital contains the two unpaired electron. So, now let us consider the second step that is excited state electronic configuration of oxygen atom. Now, here from the previous step we know that the oxygen atom contain the two unpaired electron in 2p y1 and 2p z1 atomic orbital. Hence, the expected valency is equals to the observed valency. We know that in water molecule there is a formation of a 2 OH sigma bond. Hence, the expected valency is equals to the observed valency. Therefore, there is a no excited state formation takes place during the formation of water molecule in the central oxygen atom. So, now from the previous step we know that there is a 2 unpaired electron in the oxygen atom which is responsible for the formation of water molecule. So, now the next step is the hybridization process. Now, we know that during the hybridization process, the 1, 2s and the 3, 2p atomic orbitals that is 2px, 2py and 2pz atomic orbital which having a difference in the energy undergoes sp3 hybridization process and forms a 4 sp3 hybrid orbital with a equivalent energy, size and shape. Now, these 4 sp3 hybrid orbitals orient themselves in a space in such manner they will have a maximum stability and a minimum repulsion between these hybrid orbitals. So, they arrange in a space in the tetrahedral manner at the four corner of the tetrahedron that I have shown in this diagrammatic representation. Now, whenever we have to represent the hybridization process on the one dimensional board, we are going to show the mixing and the recasting process by this dotted line which I have drawn in the electronic configuration of this oxygen atom. So, you have to just remember this important point. Again, you observe in this hybridization process out of the 4 sp3 hybrid orbital the two hybrid orbital contain a paired electron while the two are contain the unpaired electrons so this is about the hybridization process now let us consider the next step that is the bond formation so here out of this 4 sp3 hybrid orbital two sp3 hybrid orbital containing unpaired electron overlap with a 2 1s atomic orbital of a 2 hydrogen atom by sp3 s overlap which results into the formation of water molecule that I have shown in this diagrammatic representation. Now, you can observe that here the out of 4 sp3 hybrid orbital the 2 sp3 hybrid orbital containing unpaired electron overlap with the 1s atomic orbital of a 2 hydrogen atom and the water molecule formation will takes place. So, again the remaining 2 sp3 hybrid orbital which containing the paired electron 
will remain as an lone pair on the oxygen atom in the water molecule now the next step that is the geometry and the bond angle we know that the water molecule shows the distorted tetrahedral geometry or you can say that it is an uh, angular geometry or it is v shaped geometry due to the presence of two lone pair of electron on the oxygen atom so this is about the geometry now if we consider the bond angle in the water molecule or hoh bond angle is 104 degree 28 minute so this bond angle is reduced in a water molecule due to the presence of a two lone pair of electron which is present on the oxygen atom and hence generally water molecule shows the distorted or v shape or the angular geometry so this is whole about a formation of water molecule by the hybridization process in detail thank you so much for watching this video see you in my next video